Kids, it's me, Timmy Bowties. Do you know what this is? It's a shield. I was using it to hide behind, but usually a shield is something that protects you, like from a sword, or an arrow, or a flying rubber chicken. Whoa, that was weird. Usually, Soldiers have shields, but I've got one today because it reminds me of God. Hey, Maisie's flag just went up. Do you know what that means? Maisie has a message. That's right. Let's see what it is. Thanks, Maisie. Whoa, listen to this. It says, God protects me. That's our big idea for today. Can you say that with me? God protects me. Oh, hey, I just thought of something. Let's tell our big idea to Topher the Gopher. We can show him my shield too. Come on, let's go. Surprise, surprise. That little furball is sleeping again. I think I know how to fix that. On a count of three, let's all say, Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. Are you ready? One, two, three. Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? Let's say the big idea together. God protects me. Oh, wow. That is a big idea. It sure is. And speaking of things that protect us, look at what I've got. It's a shield. Oh, neat. What's it for? I have it because it reminds me of God. It does? How? Because the Bible says that God is like a shield to us. Wait, you mean that God stops swords and arrows from hitting us? Not exactly. You see, a shield is something that protects us. And the Bible tells us that God is like our shield because he protects us and keeps us safe. Oh, I get it. God keeps us safe just like a shield does. That's right, Topher. In fact, today's true Bible story is all about someone that God protected and kept safe. It is? Maybe we can go inside and read about it. That's a great idea, Topher. We'll meet you inside. Come on, kids. Come on, everybody, it's time to learn and play. Let's all go to Topher's house today. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Topher's house. Now, where did I put my Bible? In the Bible box. Oh, yeah. That's right. I always keep my Bible in the super duper Bible box. To open the box, we have to say, It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Let's say that together. It's, it's true. true! It's, it's true. true! The, the Bible, Bible is true! true. Great job! In the Bible, in the book of Esther, there was a young woman named Esther. Esther was an Israelite, God's special people. Everyone thought Esther was beautiful, even the king. Hey, I have an idea. Let's play a game with my drawing tablet to help tell the rest of the story. I'll draw a picture and you guess what it is. Here's the first picture. It 
It's a crown. That's right. It's a crown. The king was very happy with Esther and loved her more than any of the other young women. So the king put a royal crown on Esther's head and declared her the queen. The king threw a giant feast with lots of food to honor his new queen. He declared the day to be a special holiday and gave everyone very special gifts. Here's the next picture. Tell me if you know what it is. It's an angry man. That's right. It's an angry man. There was an angry man named Haman who wanted to destroy Queen Esther and the other Israelites. But Queen Esther's cousin found out about Haman's evil plan and sent a message to the queen. The message told Esther to go to the king and beg for his help and protection. See if you can guess the next picture. It's a chair. You got it. It's a chair or a king's throne. There was a law that said no one could approach the king without being invited, not even the queen. If someone approached the king, they could be put to death. Queen Esther trusted that God would protect her. So even though she wasn't invited, she put on her royal robes and approached the king while he was sitting on his throne. Let's draw one more picture. See if you can guess what it is. It's a happy face. You're right. It's a happy face. The king was very happy to see Queen Esther. He reached out his royal scepter and made it clear to everyone that Queen Esther would not be put to death. Queen Esther told the king all about Haman's evil plan and the king had Haman arrested. Not only did God protect Queen Esther, he protected all of his people. And that is today's true Bible story. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! God gave it to me and he gave it to you. Doodly doodly doo. It says he gave his son to everyone. Doodly doodly doo. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! Wow! Queen Esther could have been in big trouble. Yeah, but God was like a shield to Queen Esther. He protected her and kept her safe. That's right. God used the king to help protect Esther from that angry man named Haman. He sure did. And you know what? That makes me think of a question. In just a second, Tell your teacher or parents what your answer is. Remember to quietly raise your hand first. Good idea, Topher. Here's my question. Who are some of the people that God uses to protect you? Press pause 